I'm sorry, I'm kind of at a loss of words. Traveling that amount of distance and that amount of time and remembering why we were doing it and trying to actually put yourself in the position of my ancestors. Feeling that pain and suffering and the heat and the humidity that we felt was only just a very, very small part of what they would have had to do uh, on foot uh, with less supplies than we had. To kind of sum it up, it's, it, it's humbling, honestly. That's the best word I can think of. Well, of course, it's to remember our culture and our history and to honor those that have gotten us where we are today. I just think about we rode up to this magnificent building and to see what they, the groundwork that they laid for us so that we could have this building. I mean, it's really humbling. I rode the last 10 miles. They rode the whole trip. That They have that heart of a Tushka. They are true warriors. I mean, they are awesome people. Last year was pretty hard, you know, first year. They were done that many miles in a day. Um, uh, but this year was a really, really good experience, so. When you see the new HQ in, in the distance, and you see what home is, you see home and uh, you understand what we're building here. We're building something that's going to last into the future and that will last the legacy of our ancestors. And then to see the lineup of everyone in the streets here to welcome us, it, it moved me in a way I wasn't prepared for, in a way I didn't think it would, honestly. And I'm just, again, extremely humbled and extremely blessed to be able to take part in this. So first thing that I, I noticed was because this is the biggest crowd that we've had but we have all of our family under one roof to a certain degree now. So it was a, a heartwarming feel, feeling to see everybody come out and honor the riders and what it represents in our culture and our history. And that was an awesome feeling.